Hi, this is Lawrence Frontera, also known as a punk with toys on Instagram. And today I am going over back to our retro, well, not our retro line, our classic line, our retro line of G.I. Joe figures. And this is once again not a G.I. Joe, but it is a G.I. Joe thing. And what it is today is the Fun School police jeep now you might be asking wow that looks a lot like the vamp or the stinger and you would be correct it's exactly what it is this is another mold of it um, that i just got in today it's made by fun school it's the giggles jeep and this is the police one now they have a red race car which i have no need for but i thought a police car would actually be pretty cool um, to use with Mutt or Shockwave. Use them because they're kind of like the police force. Um, I don't have Law & Order, so that's kind of the reason why I didn't mention them. They also have an Army Green Jeep. I didn't order that because I have um, more than enough vamps. I didn't, I didn't need one. Um, but let me just say, this thing comes from India. It cost me $13 and something. It was under $15 with tax. Um, not only is the um, the red Jeep, the, the racing Jeep, and the army Jeep, about 15 bucks, free shipping and handling, and I got it in just over three weeks. So, I ordered this thing on August 24th, and today it is, let's see here, uh, September 18th. So, that's how quickly it took to get it. This is how it came. It was in this bubble wrap package um kind of looked like a bomb but it wasn't a bomb i knew what it was um and again under a month to get it coming from india especially with everything that's going on so brought it out here i have already opened it but i put everything back in exactly the way that it was i wanted to do pictures i normally do pictures before so i can make the intro of the video uh the video so this is the um and i keep showing the box anyway here's the box um, again, you look at it, you're like, that's a vamp. Um, nothing too great about it. Um, except for it says police. Um, yeah, it tells you, crooks, watch out. Police Jeep on the prowl, which uh, kind of corny, but kind of made me laugh. Um, then you're going to see, like, the Star of David on here. I'll probably remove the stickers, fun school stickers, because this is a G.I. Joe uh, vehicle. And I, obviously, it's a U.S. Army. For me, you know, I'm in the US. So anyway, let's open this up. I'm gonna show you how it comes boxed. Kind of just show you compared to the Vamp and the Stinger, um, how closely it is. It's pretty much an exact mold of it. Um, and put some figures in it and you can actually see how it might look if you wanna have a police force or just have something like I do. With the checkpoint, I'm gonna do something um, yeah, a lot of people have seen the G.I. Joe room. I'll be doing another video, uh, at the end of the year. Again, that room's not getting bigger, but there's getting more stuff in it. So I have to rearrange things and I, I like doing little scenes. So definitely going to have, you know, my police figures with this and checkpoint because they just, in my opinion, go together. So anyway, enough rambling. Let's open this up so you can see what's in it. Compare them, and then you guys can decide if you want to spend $15 on eBay to get this Fun School Giggles Jeep. Um, and if it fits with the retro figures, and if it fits with your, you, you know, our modern, or not our modern, our original figures from the 80s. So, let's take a look at this bad boy. Alright, so here's our box. Again, I'm not going to go over it too much because there's really nothing to it. It's a very plain generic box um and you know these are selling in india and probably to other small or other countries like that so they're not trying to get the nostalgia like they are for gi joe so we'll open this up it does come wrapped um i you know like i said i opened it up uh it just wrapped in some cheap wrap and this is exactly how it came already assembled Ooh. Oh boy, oh boy. Already assembled. Stickers already on it. 
and it comes with two gas cans. It's open. It. I kind of waited to open this. I normally don't do anything like this because, um, I don't know. I'm not really into in packaging things, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you how it looks. So if you are interested in getting something like this, you got our two gas cans. All right, they're black, you know, and our steering wheel, which looks, ooh, that looks, uh, it almost looks like goggles. <laughs> and then if you want to put a really cheesy um, light on it, you can. So, you can look at it here, and we'll pop on our steering wheel. So you have the steering wheel, as we all know. And let's get this out of the way. This is what you have. Um, some fairly cheap stickers, but again, I'm not overly concerned about the stickers. Who knows how many I'll peel off. I have a feeling I'm going to be peeling this one off, this one off, and obviously the fun school. And if this one doesn't stop doing that, I'll probably shave it off like a small piece of grip tape on a skateboard and get rid of it. Actually, I know I'm going to do that. Um, so anyway, cheap stickers. You're not going to want to wash it. Um, again, so you can go on eBay or elsewhere. Look at this thing's already peeling off. So there's that. Now I'm going to say right off the bat, a couple things that I noticed is these little metal pieces up on here. So clearly they took some time to reinforce the roll bar, which is actually nice because as any of us know that have ever collected stuff like this, they um, these things break. A matter of fact, my vamp, as you can see, does it. So clearly, not with its squeaking. <laughs> um, let's see. Gas cans. You know, they pop right in here. Let's see if we compare the two. And I would say that they are absolutely identical other than the fact that one is green and one is black. But no stickers. I hate stickers. Um, for as much as I search for a lot of these toys, these new ones, I wish the stickers were already done. But, so I did bring the stinger up to show you, and I didn't bring the Vamp Mark II up because it's pretty much the same as a stinger. But what you're going to notice is it has the shovel just like this. It doesn't have the gun, but it also doesn't have the engine that's sticking out. But through the back mold is obviously different as it has the spots for the canisters, which is clearly different than the uh, uh, the Mark II and the Stinger. But it's like this. So, I don't know. To me, not a big deal. But it does mean that this mold... I mean, they've redone this mold so many times, so I'm not really sure which one they decided to use, but it is different than the vamp okay but it has the same same one as this it has this little roll bar right up here which the vamp doesn't have it has its fake winch right here all right uh the interior looks to be pretty much the same so how good you know what some light on here all right Again, I am not a professional. <laughs> so, inside you have, you know, your little cluster gauges, if you can see it. Um, again, not the greatest, but again, I'm paying $15. This thing can be sent to me from India. Um, and from what I can tell here, probably hard to see, and I'm not really going to move things around too much on this, but it looks to be the exact same mold. Um, all on the inside, so. Oh, and you know, even the, uh, the steering wheel is the exact same. I never realized how chintzy the steering wheel looks even on this, so. 
All right, enough with that. As we can see, it is, um, it's the same. This thing just pops in like that. Wow, that looks like an eraser. But you can probably paint it to make it look a little bit better. So, let's get right to it. And what are we gonna use this for? Is will our OG original mutt original figures three and three fourths fit in here? And if you looked at the beginning of the video and saw the pictures, you will see he definitely does. Now his leg is kind of loose, so again, makes him a little difficult, but there he goes. And if you look from the side here. You can see he fits perfect um really nice you can see the rims are the same they really didn't change much um, i really should have pulled this off you know what matter of fact I'll tell you what i'm gonna pull this off so here let's do this right now i started to pull it and it there we go look at that so what is different about the army Jeep. So what they did was they just put a cover over this to hide whatever is there. So we could probably pop that off and mount um, another turret or, you know, some, uh, some missiles. Boy, oh boy. Here we go. Look at this thing even. Wow, this is amazing video. I'm sure you guys are probably loving this. I should have went and got a knife or something. Just pop this off. Look at that. So look at that. There you go. Um, I'm gonna put a gun on here. Here, let's. I think I can probably pop this off without breaking it, right? I'm not gonna try. <laughs> if I can't get this off, I'm not gonna try. But actually, if you went and ordered one. Off eBay, you want to order a gun, missile rack, you could easily do it because it has the exact same configuration as the Stinger and the Vamps do. Alright, so let's pop out our mutt and let's get to what a lot of people might have. And this is the new retro line figures, which, as we know, if we compare them, they are just a bit taller. Now, Stalker actually doesn't seem that much taller, but sometimes the legs may not fit. So, pop this out. Let's see how good Stalker would fit, because you can get the Army Jeep. I think he might look really nice, especially with the grunts that are coming out. So, I would say these guys, because of their size, don't fit nearly as well. And the grunt, even though I don't have them, is the exact same mold. But you can kind of push them down, probably bend the legs. Look at that. Bend the legs, get these figures in here. And look at that. They will fit the retro line. So, for probably, my guess, probably about $25, you could order an army Jeep. Um, take off the back. Now, on the Armored Jeep and the uh, the Racing Jeep, they have a spare tire that clips on the back here. Um, but you could get a turret or a missile rack and easily pop that bad boy right on here. I really want to, but I am scared of breaking off. Oh, look at this one. Think just... Ooh, look at that. That one popped up nice and easy. So kind of scared to put this in here and end up breaking it. But, you know, guess what? I got another stinger. I know. Probably just made a whole bunch of people mad by going. Oh, yeah. Guy has a couple. Anyway, look at that. This thing would just pop right in. And then you would just turn it. And oh, I'm so scared. You're watching live as... Look at that. Woohoo! All right, I got a little too excited for... Uh, being a 45 year old man with a toy but look at that um, again there's something rattling here it's kind of driving me nuts let's get this thing off before i end up crying oh, look at that 
But, so that actually kind of makes me happy. I like the idea um, of maybe even getting something. I'm just rambling on. So anyway, this is the Fun School Giggles Jeep. 15 bucks. Um, I'm... <laughs> All right, so we just watched in live time what that was, and that is these little washers. So the question is, where do those washers come from? Like, what was it that caused them to pop out? And I wonder if this thing has a clip to keep them. I bet it does. Look at that. There's a screw there. <laughs> so there's a screw. Look at that. Screw. They use two washers to hold this into place, but I just pulled on it rather than popping this up, and guess what? There you go. No more noise, and you have a 1982 vamp for the most part. Anyway, let's wrap this up. I've rambled on long enough. All right, so there you have it. That is our Fun School Giggles Jeep review. Um, I know I rambled on. I apologize, but I'm figuring if you're watching this video and you've watched my other videos, you know I ramble on. Hold on one second because, you know what, we're getting a little orb right in here and I don't want anyone to think I have ghosts in my house. Ah, it looks much, much better now. So there we go. This is your fun school. Gigos Jeep, as we can see here, you can put on any turret from the original line, um, a good paint job. But again, you just order the green army Jeep. Um, then, now who, who knows what it comes with? I wouldn't be surprised if it comes with another like a Star of David, has something to do with their military, but hey, you know what, great. You know, maybe someone keeps it on. Uh, maybe, you know, a Jewish fan gets it and they're like, hey, awesome. Something that represents us, that's cool. Um, anyway, there we go. Fun School Giggles Jeep. Is it any different than our classic Stinger? Not really. Again, the one thing I do like is that they seem to have reinforced this. Now again, more than likely, the, mo the majority of us aren't gonna be banging these around. But if there are kids that are playing with them, and I know there are some kids that still do play with G.I. Joe, which is awesome. You can go up to Walmart, grab your stalker. He's not hard to find. Find him all the time right now. Can we get some grunts and some Cobra officers? I'm right on that. But there you go, Jeep. Perfect. I really do like it. Um, anyway, there you go. That's your review of the Hugo Jeep. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. I really do enjoy doing videos like this. Um, I like that I'm getting some more of the uh, three and three four or three and seven five four inch figures. I'm doing some reviews. Again, there's only so much retro stuff, and when you have a large collection like I do, it's what do I want to spend my money on? Do I want to spend fifty bucks on one small little figure, or be able to buy two classified figures, or? The amount of other figures that I buy. So anyway, wrapping it up. I'm rambling on. Again, I think you guys know that by now. So anyway, if you like the video, thumbs up. Again, a punk with toys and go out, get on eBay. Fun school, giggles, Jeep. You'll find the police one, the army one, and it's like a race car. It's red. Matter of fact, if uh, there's a couple figures that probably would look pretty good, but I'm not racing my, my stuff. But I do like the police. I do like having a police force. And if I didn't have more vamps than I know what to do with, the fact that this got one sitting under the aircraft carrier because I have so many. Um, again, sorry if you don't have any. <laughs> um, I don't need more. So anyway, Punk With Toys on Instagram. Follow me. I'd appreciate it. I upload when I do new videos or I post when I do new videos. And you guys can check it out if you want. Take care.